Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. It's Tuesday evening, uh, May, May 24th. <laughs> and this is the new 2022 to 2023 annual catalog kickoff, night number one. So I will be here all this week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday evening, starting at 7.30 each night. And I hope that you will join me uh, whenever you can. I know that's a lot of nights in a, in a row and uh, everybody's busy and has other things that they need to do. But I'd love to have you pop in and join me whenever you can. And I hope to share a whole lot of wonderful new goodies with you. So I'm just going to uh, get this other one set up here. Uh, if you are here with me, do say hello. Let me know that you're joining me and I will get this up and running and see who's here giving me a hi ho and all that jazz. So it's, uh, I can't believe it's, you know, we're heading towards the end of May already. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's about time we kick off this new catalog, don't you think? <laughs> yes. Um, I have lots to share with you this week. Lots of wonderful new products, new stamps, new dyes. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, new papers, oh my gosh. Wonderful new designer series paper as usual, right? You, I just love Stampin' Up's designer series paper. And then of course, gems. Lots of new gems. <laughs> my container is it overfloweth. It's very fat. I don't even think I have everything in here. I don't think I could uh, could quite get them all in, but there's lots of new gems, wonderful gems, and I will share many of those with you throughout the week. Hello, Donna. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, have you seen the new catalog? Isn't it wonderful? I had it up on the screen here. I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just flip this back because we will get started in just a moment. Let me put that back. There, so remember when this was the only thing I could share with you? <laughs> Those days are done. This is, uh, it's live, it's real, it's it's out and about, and uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> so the focus tonight is um, just taking a peek at a few things in the catalog, uh, mostly focusing on in colors tonight. There are five new in colors, and I have to tell you, they are awesome. Oh my gosh. I, it, you know what, the in colors are always on trend and they're, there's always one or two that it's like, oh my gosh, I love these. This is the first time in many, many years that I have absolutely loved every single one of them. And it's, the first thing I'm going to show you, of course, I have on the bottom of my stack of <laughs> stop trying to organize me here but uh yes they they are all marvelous and they all go together really really well so sweet sorbet this is the one that i thought i wasn't going to like when i saw it online it looked kind of poppy parade and i've probably mentioned that poppy parade is not my favorite color i'm not I'm not a huge fan of red but if i'm gonna have a red that I like she says wearing a red shirt this evening but but it has to be a blue red not an orange red so uh, this looked very orangish but it's not it's uh it it's very mellow very lovely <laughs> orchid oasis Woo, what a happy purple that is Woo, very blue purple um but it's it's lovely it's in the running for one of my faves but then, you know, so is this one, <laughs> Parakeet Party. This is bright and happy and just, you know, it it makes you smile. The card, and look, you can put it, look at this. Like, isn't that lovely? Look at this. Maybe not quite as much, but certainly this. <laughs> and it goes really well with this Tahitian Tide, um, which is a turquoisey blue. It's another blue. How can I not like it? You know, I'm all about the blues. So 
Um, I do like that. And I like these two together. And then we have Starry Sky. And this is a deep, um, not quite a royal blue, I don't think, maybe sort of a royal blue. When I was a kid, they used to talk about royal blue. My mother used to talk about royal blue. And it wasn't quite navy blue. And this is definitely not navy blue, but um, it's very dark blue. Goes really nicely with the Tahitian tie. And it goes really nicely as well with the Parakeet Party. And it goes really nicely with the Sweet Sorbet. <laughs> These, they're, I mean, it goes just fine with Orchid Oasis, but they're very similar. So um, they're different. This is purple, this is blue, but kind of similar. So there are the five new in colors. But look, like they just, and I think my lighting is kind of off on this parakeet party, especially up at the top here. It looks sort of yellowy green. Down here, it's maybe a little more green, but it is very green, very limey green. <laughs> so, okay, so that, uh, that is the beginning. And then we have some in color, and you will find all of those, you know, in the back in the paper section of the camera that I moved somewhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, here's my catalog right here. It's okay. I'm all over it. <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> yes. So you will find all of the paper right in here. Page 122. And there's also um, ink and uh, ink refills and stamping blends for all those things. I didn't get my stamping blends out tonight, but you know what they look like? It's all the same colors, and I didn't get my Stampin' Right markers out, but they too are the same colors. <laughs> so here is uh, in color designer series paper, and they're six by six sheets, four patterns. Look at that! Isn't that cool? I love this one, and this one gives you so many different tones. It's like second and third generation stamping of the ink. So. You know, it gives you lots of lots of variations of color of the same color, which I think is very cool. This has a couple. This obviously has a couple. And this has a couple. This actually has three in the polka dots. There's a second and third generation of those as well. But um, So you get those four patterns in all five colors. This is Orchid Oasis. Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tie, and I'll flip this over just so you can see the other side. Uh, <laughs> Starry Sky. Did you want to see the other side of all of them? Flip them all over. Do, do, do. There we go. So lots of really, uh, really cool stuff. They, uh, you can find this on page 135 in the catalog. They are all six by six. You get 40 sheets in the package for each of two double-sided patterns of each one. So lots and lots of paper to play with. And lots and lots of lovely colors. <laughs> Look at that. Like, isn't that just, yeah, it just, it inspires me. It makes me think uh, lovely cards and great projects and all that sort of thing. So, so I kind of got everything out and organized for coming out. I didn't really put a place to collect it <laughs> afterwards. You know, I was thinking about this. Everybody, everybody has kind of a something that sort of sets off their website and all the rest of it. I think it's my like <laughs> really lovely printing. <laughs> Have my great stamping with Connie.com. You know where you are when you see this. <laughs> There's uh, one demonstrator. She always puts on her uh, lipstick at the beginning of her videos. And it's her, she's putting on her, her stamping lips or something, she says. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, that is just like, hello, you should have done that before you went live. But it's kind of, it's her thing. And so I kind of get it. But anyway. Maybe this is mine. There we go. It's my. It, it's my. You could have done that on your computer printer, but look, you just hand wrote it. <laughs> All right, moving on to other good 
in color things. We have on page 139, six by six glimmer paper. Woohoo! Strawberry sorbet. And this, as you can see, is, well, number one, it's, it's got some glimmer, but it's also ombre. Look at that. Isn't that kind of interesting? So you can get all different uh, shades, whatever you want to work with. There's the Orchid Oasis party and it's not the lighting it really is lighter on this edge than on this edge <laughs> Tahitian Tide and Starry Sky and that is just fun and lovely and great accents for uh, for your crafting and I could just pop this in here right about now here, can you, oh, you can hurt there. Now you can see, look at all that glimmer. Look at that. Uh, so this is the bottled happiness uh, punch that is over in my drawer. I didn't pull it out because I was going to use it and then I just couldn't make it work. So I'm just gonna stamp it in a little bit. But these are all punched out of the glimmer paper. And then they are just put on, uh, this is basic white that I've run through the gingham embossing folder. And then sending a little message is from the bottle happiness stamp set, which you will find on page 16. You can get it as a bundle, the stamp set and the punch. There's the stamp set. And we will be using this in just a little bit. So I'll show you some sample of some of this and just uh, another couple of ideas for a card. But that is the bottled happiness stamp set and it is bundled with the bottle punch. <laughs> so there we go. Um, all right. In color. So what are we moving on to next? In the, there's so so many things in the end colors. So here is uh, these you may have seen if you follow uh, right around the four. Oh, no, because one is hiding. Uh, I did these one day, I believe, on lunch break when I introduced the new end colors. So there is Sweet Sorbet. And most of them use the Hello Ladybug uh, stamp set, which is this guy right here. Super cute. This came out in the uh, January to June catalog, but continues on in this current catalog. So you can still get this if you don't have it yet. It is bundled with a punch, a ladybug punch. And if you ordered the make and take package, you have one of these bugs punched out <laughs> in your make and take for tonight. So we will see that in a little bit as well. Uh, so there's Sweet Sorbet and Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, and Starry Sky. So there they are. Simple cards just really showing off the five new in colors. And as I say, those were from a lunch break that I did a little while ago. Do I have my cheat note on the back? I don't have my cheat note on the back. I can't tell you exactly when, uh, but if you search for lunch break on my Facebook page, you will find it because I'm not sure this has been a blog post yet. When I put these things into blog posts, then I uh, upload the video onto YouTube and attach it in the blog post. So that's another way that you can find my videos if you're ever looking for them. Okay, what else do we have so much uh, in the in color department? Again, Sweet Turbay, Orphan Oasis, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky. And I won't spend a lot of time just showing you these ink cases because that's really not fun. And we are going to do some stamping in a moment or two. I just, there's so many wonderful in color things at this time. There's not always so many. But this time, oh my gosh, they went 
totally overboard, maybe because they knew how popular his skin colors would be and how wonderful um, they would be. Hello, Lorna, welcome. I know you have a really busy week, so I'm glad you could stop by tonight. We're just going through a whole bunch of the in color stuff. Um, now, I, these are, uh, what are they called? They are called metallic woven ribbon, and I don't have all of the colors. This is Starry Sky, very blue, very dark blue, very beautiful. <laughs> uh, this is Orchid Oasis, very purple. And this is Parakeet Party. Okay. Uh, I have heard, and I do not own the Sweet Sorbet, I have heard that it is, um, it's less intense. The color is less intense than this, but I'm not sure. Someone said that quite some time ago, and I haven't really heard anything else about it ever since. So I cannot say for certain, but it may be, it may be more like some of the uh, lighter tones of sweet sorbet that are in some of the designer series paper and some or something. Not sure, but just beware. Um, anyway, you love the new in colors, Lorna. I do too. I, do, you know what? I'm really hard pressed to pick a favorite, but I'm going to ask, uh, ask you guys, uh, you know, let me know what your favorite is. I'm showing you lots of, and maybe it's like in the paper, I like this, but in the ink, I like that, or who knows, eh? Uh, there is also a twine pack so this is all baker's twine and it's all white uh, and the color so there's sweet sorbet orchid oasis uh, parakeet party tahitian tide and starry sky so lots of uh, color choice there to coordinate with all your in colors <laughs> and then i think other than the Stampin' Right markers and Stampin' Blends, I think this is the last in color product. <laughs> and there are bits of the in colors um, in all sorts of things, but the things that I've shown you are completely dedicated just to the in colors. So this is the 2022 to 24 in color matte decorative dots. And they do come all in a strip. Um, I just had to cut them because actually, I wish they were like this. Um, I had to cut them because <laughs> you, you remember that ooh, ever so poofy thing. Well, you know, it can poof a little bit, <laughs> but it's only this long. It can't be any longer. And this did not fit. <laughs> so I had to cut the uh, Orchid Oasis pieces off the bottom and just stuck it in my package like that. So you have all five colors. You've got your Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Pride. Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. So there's all of the colors. And these are matte. They're not shiny. They're just solid matte colors. So they're, um, they'd be great for embellishing any project, but um, you could use them on masculine kinds of cards as well because they're not shiny, blingy, and all that. It's just color. So good for any kind of card. Good for whatever I want to do and all that jazz. Okay, so we've seen a few cards. We've seen a whole bunch of colors. Well, no, we've only seen five colors, but we've seen five colors five ways or several ways. Maybe we should do some crafting. So I thought we would play with the bottled happiness a little bit tonight just to share some of that with you and again as i said there is a punch that comes with this punches out hmm, bottles <laughs> so but for these cards i was just going to use i wanted to show you and i haven't um i have colored on these with my stamp and write markers but i wasn't going to do that tonight however whoopsie <laughs> Uh, I really should show you that at some point, shouldn't I? Okay, so here we have 
bunch of stamps here. I did, uh, I did stamp a little bit of stuff for the one card. I thought we would work on one with uh, Tahitian Tide because I was going left, right, center with what colors to use. So I have cut a piece of cardstock. Uh, this is just basic white and it is three inches by five inches. And I am going to grab my, uh, I think I'm going to start with the bottle. So I'm going to use Tahitian Tide for my bottle. And there is, there is a short, whoops, there is a short bottle and then there's a, a regular sort of height bottle. I think that I'm going to use, oh, I think I'm going to use, sorry, I just noticed there's something in my pad here that I don't want to get into my stand. There we go. Got it. Now where's my, <laughs> oh dear, I'm melting stuff on the floor. Sorry, excuse me one moment. I need paper towel. There we go. Before I get ink everywhere. Okay. Um, there's a wine label here, but I, I didn't plan that out. So we're just going to go with the plain bottle. And we're just going to put this. So I want to know, I may have room for... I put this here. Nope, I'm not really going to have room for the bottom of this. And that's okay. I don't necessarily need one. This little pad is really inky and my stamps are not really stuffed up. So hopefully this comes out okay. I'm going to stamp this down on here. So do leave a comment and let me know your favorite ink color. And, uh, you know, I get it. Maybe it'll just be tonight's favorite. That's okay. I, uh, I have a new favorite every day. <laughs> and that's, that's okay. It's allowed. <laughs> so, I'm going to close this up. And then I'm going to grab the sweet sorbet. I'm going to use this is the the stamp that has all the flowers the other one and you maybe can't see this too well yet when they're clear you'll see it as i ink them uh the other one has leaves so this is the one with the flowers and so i'm going to do it in red and i'm going to try and get it sort of centered but attached to my bottle how's <laughs> that Doesn't look like it's quite all there yet, but <laughs> that's okay. We will get it fixed when we add more stamps. So this is uh, two-step stamping. I'm not positive. Where did I put the? Where did I put the stamp? Ah, oh my goodness. I need more table space around me. I need a larger table sometimes. When I'm doing something this big, oh, look, it's right underneath me. <laughs> okay, but when I'm doing something like this, I need to be able to spread everything out. Uh, what does it say here? Two step, yes. In, in the fine print, right down here, you may or may not be able to read this because uh, it's not really focused, is it? Anyway, it does say two step. So it's uh, two-step stamping, but being photopolymer, of course, that's very easy to do because you can see where to put the second, the second step stamp. Say that quickly three times, okay? Okay, so now you can see this one uh, better now that it's inked, and you can see that it's leaves and things. <coughs> Excuse me, it's leaves and it's flower centers. So when you are putting this down, uh, you can, it, you can't really tell exactly where the leaves would go, but you can see where the flower centers kind of 
line up with the flowers. And it's not perfect, perfect, perfect. It's not meant to be perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, but it's very easy to see roughly where the flower centers should go. And then you end up with something like that. I didn't quite get it centered, but it's okay. I may just take a little trim off the edge here. First, <laughs> first I better clean this, uh, this camp or I will have, I'll be leaning in it or something. Yes, it is very cool, isn't it, Lorna? It's, uh, I love two-step stamps because, you know, singly, and if I were to stamp, um, here, I'll just bring in a, a piece of scrap paper here because we can't really see it here. If I were to just, so you saw the, uh, the red flowers when we stamped just them. If we stamp just the leaves, it's kind of neat. It would be a neat background, but it's not a complete picture, obviously. But then when you put it all together, all of a sudden you have this wonderful um, two color image going on that was super, super easy, super quick, super easy to do, especially because it's photopolymer. But the other thing that you can do, uh, if you want to take more time, is color these with your Stampin' Light markers. And then you can make some of your flowers, different colors, or you can make these uh, little wisteria flowers, different colors from these blooms, whatever they are. <laughs> and you could do, you know, your larger leaves in one green and your little stems or your flower centers in a different color. I mean, you could, <laughs> you could go all out if you, if you were a very avid crafter and wanted to take a lot of time with that. Um, does Stampin' Up! have a lot of two-step stamps? Ah, I would have to go through and look. There are absolutely a few in there. I'm trying to think of uh, what some of the others might be off the top of my head. <laughs> we'll do a little catalog flip and we will see. How's that? I'm just going to trim this down a little bit so that it is centered. <laughs> See, when it's not centered, just, you know, change your paper. <laughs> Spots. Oh, yes, pansies. Absolutely, pansy patch is a, a two-step. And I think there are some other that was a little oh, see yeah here's uh here's the problem <laughs> this is very pretty now but i'm gonna try we're gonna go for it there we go okay we're gonna quit now because after this we uh <laughs> we start cutting into the flowers and then we'll see if i should make it a little shorter look at that in a moment and i don't know I don't know whether they in the index whether they tell you two step stamping or not. Look, we're we're all going to learn from the catalog here. <laughs> uh, distinctive. Those are the ones that have the the shading, so they don't particularly identify uh, two step stamps. But the pansies for sure. Yes, they're in uh, layers and stamps and that sort of thing. Um, we'll just let's just flip through a few of these and we will see uh, so these are bits and pieces that you build but it's not uh, it's not quite two step I don't think it's just you know you just build it <laughs> oh the um, flowering tulips that is two step now it doesn't even say Oh, it does say two-step right here. So that one is identified as two-step. Okay. Um, there 
oh, the bird. The bird. Uh, shoulder punch. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's facing a different way. <laughs> That's not too sad. But uh, the ladybug is. And the ladybug. And the wings and the dots. And so there's a couple of things in there that take advantage of two step. There's absolutely a few. And these are bits and pieces, not not classified, I don't think, as two step. Uh, art gallery, that's another one that is two step. So you add different layers to your flowers as you stamp it. One says hinged stamp, a hinged stamp. Which one would that be? <laughs> mm, I'm not uh, not sure what a hinged stamp is, although I know there are um, dies and embossing uh, ones. This uh, Christmas one from last year, Christmas season, this is two step with the pine cones. And we did in one of my classes, actually it was a workshop that I did. Uh, we used this and I set it all up on the Stamparatus so that everybody could do the two steps, boom, boom, quick and easy. Another awesome way to use your uh, Stamparatus with two step stamping. So, okay, here's, uh, here's one with these nuts about squirrels, page 25. Lovely and lasting. Okay, so we'll just go back there and we won't go through the whole catalog. But uh, 25. Best of luck. Uh, hinge step. Hinge step. Oh, mm, my, my, my. <laughs> okay, you've kind of got me. So it's a bundle with a punch. A hinge step. Oh, that is uh, interesting. Lovely in linen. So it's the uh, photopolymer bundle, designer series paper, protocol tile embossing folder. And here they have stamped and then embossed, but I'm not sure that that's what it means. Uh, okay. So there's my homework. Let me find out what this hinge step means. <laughs> we are, we're, we're all going to learn something new tonight. Well, not tonight. We're not going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to do a little investigation there because I don't. Uh, I don't honestly know what that means, but I will find out. Okay, let's get back to crafting. That much I do know for tonight, at least this crafting. Okay, Tahitian Tide card base. And I have a piece of the uh, Tahitian Tide 6 by 6 Designer Series paper. So this is standard card base, uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And this is four by five and a quarter, so standard layer. And then <laughs> this was three by five. Now it's, uh, oh, now it's, you know, a shade under two and three quarters. But I think. I think I'm actually going to make it a little smaller and then I'm probably going to want some sort of border on here. So we may have to deal with that, but I think that, uh, that I want this a little bit tighter to my stamping on the ends. So we're just going to trim it down and hope that it looks better when it's trimmed down. <laughs> because if it doesn't, I can't put the, I can't put the paper back. So it's very, uh, very tight to my stamping now. And I was thinking that I would not actually uh, put, put a sentiment on here. I think because I wanted to just show off the paper, but I'm wondering if we should have a little, maybe a sweet sorbet border on there. Do we think? Maybe even glimmer. How about a little sweet sorbet glimmer board? Oops. 
that too much. Not sure about that against the against the the sort of busy pattern. I'm thinking it may need to be it's a little better if it's dark. It's almost dark. I could do that. Or I could grab. Look, remember how I brought all this colored cardstock? <laughs> so I have cardstock right here. <laughs> okay, so now I really need to measure this, and now it's not at all standard measurements. So it is, um, okay, it's four and a quarter tall, just a smidge over, but not quite two and three quarters. So I'm just going to kind of, uh, you know, we're gonna kind of guess on this. So we're gonna go two and three quarters, not quite two and three quarters. And then we're going to add, uh, and I wanna add about an eighth. So I'm gonna to go to about there. And I'm just kind of eyeballing my lines here. So, <laughs> yeah, so you know, we'll see how it goes. And this is uh, just a smidge over four and a quarter. And we're gonna add an eighth plus the eighth. And let's see. <laughs> yes, that is uh, that is that is good enough. That is <laughs> so close to what I was after that we're going to say it's darn near perfect. <laughs> we're going to go with it. It's kind of the bottom line. So this is blue that my daughter gave me back on the weekend that she had for making finishing her wedding invitations. <laughs> But apparently she didn't finish the glue there is over here. But I stuck it in my folder. I didn't really check to see how much was in there. Still a little bit at least. So a little bit of the cart before the horse. She sent her wedding invitations and now I'm working on her shower invitations. Is that kind of backwards? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. She wanted to get her shower or her wedding invitations out early because uh, if you are a young person, you have a very busy year this year, apparently, because you're at the age where all your friends are getting married, but they haven't been able to do that <laughs> for the last few years. So there's three three years of weddings happening this summer for a lot of young people. So I know uh, Laura and Lena have a lot of weddings this summer. I have finished that guy, but I have another one. Candy? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do because I knew it was going to write it. So look. Stamp it seal. Right here. All good. So this is a package. There we go. And we are back in business. Okay. This onto here. It's a good thing I had a lot of these things half made, eh? <laughs> lots of gapping tonight, but lots of good, uh, <laughs> good learning, good, good questions. And now I have homework. I have to find out what that means. Now it's now I'm really kind of starting to wonder, and. And why did I not notice that before? Thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for showing that to us, Lorna. I hadn't really paid attention to it. hadn't uh, hadn't noticed it. hadn't seen those words. I don't own that stamp set, obviously, <laughs> or I might have an idea what it means. But we will we will learn. I will I will ask some other smart people. <sighs> oh. Should I wrap some ribbon around here? Maybe just a bow. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe a bow. Hopefully a bow, because I just stuck it down. <laughs> but we could do uh, we could do a bow with this, couldn't we? Assuming I can find the end of it. There we go. So Baker's twine, and when I'm using Baker's twine, I kind of like to uh, do it double because it's. Uh, It's thin, so I just find double bows. 
give it a little more oomph. Sort of like if you're wrapping it on a card, I usually wrap it a few times, three times or something around, just to give it a little, a little oomph. Okay, we can tie this into a bow here. Okay, maybe we should aim to get it a little more centered. <laughs> This should be better, hopefully. A little more centered. Ooh. It didn't work. There we go. And you don't necessarily want your bow loops to be identical, identical in size, uh, because then they'll sort of sit apart. This is a little more than I need. Just trim that off. And then we can just pop that right on there. Now, the other thing when you're using uh, Baker's twine, these glue dots are bigger often than your notch. So I just kind of roll it off of the paper. I don't suppose you can see this. It's really teeny tiny. You see how it's much tinier? It's not a whole dot anymore. But then when I put it on the back, it is about the size of the knot. And that way we don't have a lot of sticky stuff that extends beyond the bow. So that's, that's not sticky there, which is kind of what we want. There we go. Do we need to add some gems? You know, the bow is... The bow is just the bow, but we could embellish it a little further. Let's throw some. Maybe some green. A little bit of green. Maybe some clear. Hmm. I'm not sure. It almost doesn't need any, does it? <clears throat> Maybe I'll just set it aside for now and I'll put these near it and we can ponder. Will I finish off this one other part that I had started? So this is um, very similar, but I used the short bottle on this one. Same sort of stamping mill. And then I have a piece of Tahitian Tide, and this is the, uh, it's, it's the Stripes and Splatters. It's the Splatters folder of the Stripes and Splatters, which is, uh, it's one of the small ones for the mini cut and emboss machine. So it doesn't really emboss this whole piece, except it does. <laughs> you just have to run it through twice. So I ran through uh, the top part and then I ran through the bottom part. And if you look, really, you can kind of see a little bit of a line here. Depends on the pattern. Some, some folders are a little more obvious and others are less obvious. But I thought this one was not, uh, you didn't really see it a whole lot. And so I could go with it because this is also going to be on here and sort of distract your eyes so that you won't really notice it, is my thought, is my hope. And then uh, this is Overflowing with Happiness, which is one of the segments from the bottle of happiness. Uh... <laughs> I know, I know. Can you believe it, Lorna? But we're both saying no, no gems on a card because we think it's good without it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think maybe we should take our temperature. But but the bow is an embellishment, and the bow because I made the the tails on it long, uh, it's all over, and I don't think I don't think it really needs anything else, does it? There we go. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, what did you say earlier? We're always learning something new. Well, look at that. We've learned that you can make a card and it can be lovely, even if it has no gems on it. Seems hard to believe, but I suppose there are a few. <laughs> I do it occasionally. Actually, the make and take for tonight does not have any gems on it because it has uh, uh, lots of color and 
some vellum and a lot of other things going on that I just thought that gems would detract from it. So sometimes you don't need gems, but, but most times you do. So I was just kind of thinking I would do something, something like this. And then you see, see like, mm, perfect little spot for gems there, don't you think? <laughs> but I did also cut, tie a bow with this. Oh, we could do this. No, not with that big long tail. Make this bow part a little bit bigger. Two cards without gems. Oh my goodness, that um, <laughs> that just seems really wrong. But okay. I'm going to start putting this together and then we can decide because I can't tell by just looking at it. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. I'm glad you like the cards. You know, these in colors are just so bright and happy that it's kind of hard not to have wonderful cards, I would think. And <laughs> turquoise and lime green are. Uh, <laughs> They're not necessarily colors that I would put together. I do like it, but to me, it's it's what the young people like. It's the kids, like, you know, in the 9 to 12-year-old girls. I'm thinking when I did, you know, guides and the girls in there, would, like, they go bonkers over these kinds of color patterns and stuff. <laughs> okay. Did you see? I stamped him twice. Can you tell? Whoopsie. <laughs> I didn't have it censored the first time. So you know, two-sided paper. Get this down here, and then we can see what else we need. If anything. And then we need to get to the making cake because holy mackerel, it's uh, after quarter after eight already. How time flies when you're absorbed in crafting, eh? <laughs> and that's why, you know, we can spend hours and not realize time has passed. Okay, so what do we think? We could put this here. We could put this here. And... Oh, and see, then we could still put a little bit of green down here, maybe on that one. Okay, I'm going to attach the bow. I'm going to be brave and just go ahead and do it. And this is also because this uh, ribbon is also quite narrow. I've sort of rolled my blue dot again so that it doesn't uh, stick out beyond my knot so much. That right on there. I think I'm going to put this on with dimensionals as well. And then we can uh, we can see what we think about the gems. <laughs> because you know we shouldn't have to have two cards without gems. And I'm see I'm putting this over to the edge so that there is a spot for a gem. Do red too. All right. I'm thinking green and I'm thinking I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Could you like green? Do we like green? Because these gems are also ombre, like the, uh, the glimmer paper. Well, I don't think I could do just one though. Yeah. I'm gonna need more than one. I'm gonna do three. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it works. It may not have needed it, but, um, <laughs> but you know, I was having gem withdrawals, so, so it's better now. 
So there we go. There's a couple of uh, bright and happy cards made with the bottled happiness stamp set. Uh, and there's the other one with the punch, the bottle punch. Okay, shall we move on to the make and take for tonight? So, these, is there room for these up top? Not quite, but we'll just kind of stick them up there for now. So here is the make and take for tonight. It is features all of the in colors. Uh, and here's our ladybug punch that just turned into a bumblebee. <laughs> so there it is. Okay, so in your make and take kit, you have you have a basic white thick card base. You have a parakeet party bug body. <laughs> You have a strip, and I seem to only have one. I think your kits probably have a couple of strips, but I think this will be okay. I'll just go carefully. Uh, you have a strip of quarter inch uh, basic black cardstock. You have some vellum wings, and you have five hexagon die cuts from the in color six by six designer series paper. Okay, so you can see how I have put them together. You don't have to put them together that way. You can put them on the card any way you like. It's entirely up to you. But I am just going to fold the card base and give it a nice press with my bone folder. There we go. And then the first thing you want to do is uh, put together your Bumblebee. Bumbly bee. <laughs> we'll call him a bumbly bee. So, he's not yellow. He's turkey party, <laughs> which is kind of green, but that's okay. He's kind of bumbly bee. Okay, so there's really not a whole lot of glue in this bottle, and I'm going to set it aside so we can get the show on the road. This, is, this one is much newer and still has lots. So you just want to come below his neck, his neck, her neck, whoever's neck, uh, or below their head, because they don't really have a neck. And make sure that you go all the way across the body. Okay. Now, if you have a couple, you can just keep going with these. I seem to only have one strip, so I'm just going to snip that there. Okay. And then you're going to come and glue the next one. Oops, that's a lot of glue. And put it towards the middle. And again, I'm going to just snip this. And then the third one will go towards the bottom. And I have left uh, some body showing. I don't know how these these critters really look in nature, but that's how I wanted my critter to look. <laughs> so you can strike them up any way you like. Okay. And just give him a little bit of a press and let him dry for just a moment. The other thing um, we're going to glue the, the vellum wings, and you possibly know when you glue vellum, you can see the glue through the vellum, and you can you can see it on this card a little bit. I put just the thinnest strip of glue along the top here. Oops, not playing the camera. So right along there, and you can see it's a little bit darker there, um, where there was a little more glue. If you put it a very thin coat, you see it less. And you don't need a lot to make it stick, but um, you may see it just a little bit. But I figured if it was just a, a thin line across the top, then it wouldn't really be a big problem. So I am just trimming off the extra uh, 
scripts here. And I'm just cutting around the body. So lots of little bits of <laughs> black paper. There we go. And then I am just going to put a very fine smear of blue on the top like this, right along the tip. This way, and if, as I said, if you spread it, you will see it a little bit less. It's very thin. And this is, as you know, very, very sticky glue, so you don't need a whole lot. And plus, it's just a little bell of wing. It's not, <laughs> it's not heavy duty uh, cardstock or anything. Just going to put that down right again near the base of his head. And again, you can see this, but I got my my line goes pretty much the whole way across this time. So I think that's actually just a little bit better. It looks it looks kind of the same all the way across. So there's your bumblebee. And then uh, on your card base. You want to stamp your sentiment. I am using, uh, I use Thinking of You, and this is from the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. So, okay, Thinking of You. You can use whatever you like, and you could, if you don't have the in color inks yet, uh, you could use, you could just use black. If you have Memento Black, that would be great. Um, if you have uh, Night of Navy, you could use that. Um, whatever you like. Okay, so then I am just going to put my sentiment down towards the bottom of the card here. Am I? Oh, I am still in the camera. All of a sudden, it's like. Is this down too low? Am I not in the camera? There we go. Okay, and that's it for stamping on this card. There's not a lot of stamping. And then you just need to decide um, where you want to put your hexagons. And you can put them, as I say, anywhere. You don't have to do them the way I did them. You could do them in a different color order but same pattern you can do them in a whole different pattern whatever you like it's your card so i think just for the sake of time here i'm going to put these in the same kind of pattern that i had but i'll i'll rearrange the colors a little bit I'll do this. Totally rearranged colors. <laughs> oop, oop, oop. There. That will work. Okay. And as you're gluing these down, you just want to, um, you know, I've left those kind of where they are. Well, you could use this side too. It's okay. I'm going to continue with the polka dots, especially since I've already put blue on this side, but. <laughs> You can do them however you wish. So I'm just going to set the first one down. And the first one just kind of sets the pattern for everything. Uh, because after that, you're just going to make sure that they're all touching edges wherever they have edges. So. And you could do it completely straight or you could do it off kilter again there's no right or wrong but there's just how i did it and how you do it <laughs> creative liberties all around There we go. Let's just get a 
little bit closer. There. So same pattern, a little different order on the colors, just to change it up slightly. And then I put the bumbly bee on with some dimensionals. So just pop a few dimensionals onto here. And again, this card has no uh, no gems on it, but with all the different colors and the, the shapes and the bumblebee and the vellum and everything, I just felt that oh no, he or he should be somewhere else because look, he's right near the green this time. I didn't really think about that. That's okay. We'll just put him up a little bit. What else is this? Oh, that's really good. We'll just move him up. That'll work. There we go. Smack them down. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, my screen went kind of small, but I think we're still here. I think it's just my my view of the world. Okay, so let me see if I can get all of this back in. There's your make and take for tonight. Here are some of the samples that we made and shared and all that sort of stuff coming in there. There we go. Kind of have it all in. Just a little bit after 8.30. It is my goal to uh, do all of these things in one hour or less. <laughs> I know everybody has lots to do. But uh, anyway, if you are not able to join me for it and you know all of the other evenings as I said they are all recorded I will post them you have a tutorial for your make and takes and if you have any questions at all I am here to help so lots more for tomorrow night there's so many things I have not uh, shared with you that I still want to share and show and all the rest of it so I hope that you will be able to stop in or catch the replay but uh, thank you so much for joining me this evening I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, oh, thanks. I'm glad glad everyone likes the cards. So um, more fun tomorrow night. Join me while we craft again. Take care, everyone. We'll see you all again really soon. Good night.